When you look at the cockpit of a fighter jet, you can't see the position of the refueling port at all. So, how do pilots ensure that the refueling probe is accurately inserted into the port during aerial refueling? Well, it depends on the type of refueling system being used. Currently, the most common types are the flying boom, hard tube, and the probe and drogue, soft hose systems, which is the more traditional soft hose method. The tanker aircraft releases a hose with a drogue, a small parachute-like stabilizer, at the end. The drogue automatically deploys and keeps the hose at a stable position. The fighter jet needing fuel must maintain a speed similar to the tanker and carefully adjust its position to extend its retractable refueling probe into the drogue's basket. Once connected, fuel transfer can begin. On the other hand, the flying boom system works the opposite way. Here, the tanker aircraft is equipped with a rigid, maneuverable fuel pipe operated by a dedicated boom operator, or sometimes an automated system. The operator makes fine adjustments to guide the boom into the fighter's refueling receptacle. Therefore, in the case of hard tube refueling, the pilot of the receiving fighter doesn't need, and isn't expected, to see or monitor the refueling port at all.